Hey there, I'm Brian with Innovation Lighting and today I want to talk about using side light on your stage and some tips and tricks lighting designers use with it. Side light, like the name implies, is a light that comes from the sides of the stage relative to the audience. We usually tuck these lights in the wings behind the theater masking so the audience can't see the actual fixtures. Uh, usually we'll put them on a boom, which is a vertical hanging position that's floor supported. Uh, often it's just a base with a vertical pipe and you can hang your fixtures right on that pipe. Uh, sometimes they get more complex depending on the needs of the show or the venue, but very often it's just an upright pipe. Side light is really neat in that we can light things on stage without adding a whole lot of light to any of the surfaces on stage, like the floor or backdrops or sykes. This makes it a great way we can fill out people on stage without making the rest of the scene too bright. Because the light is coming from the sides, it tends to ring the people on stage with light. This really defines the shape of the body. That's one of the main reasons you often see it when you're working on dance shows, as it helps define the dancer's body, and you can really see all their movements better. There are a number of positions we refer to as side light. The first is shins or low sides, uh, which sit right on the floor or are very close to the floor. The next is uh, a mids, which I tend to have sit around the three to six foot mark. There's the heads, which tend to be between about six and 10 feet high. And then there's high sides, which are right off the system pipes along with your top light. There's also tips, which is a little bit different in that you zone out your stage. I kind of think of them like front light where you're looking for that 45 degree angle but instead of coming from the front, it's coming directly from the side. So each of these positions does something a little bit different on stage. The shins tend to catch people's legs a bit more, and the mids, which land about shoulder height, tends to highlight people's upper body and head a lot more. Used together, they can effectively fill out a whole person's body. The fun bit with these lights is that you can shutter them right off the stage floor so that way you can fill out the people on stage without lighting up the ground. This almost makes the people float in space a little bit. When you move the side light up a bit higher to that kind of head or high side position, you have to start hitting the stage with light, otherwise you won't be lighting the people on stage. But consequently, you end up creating these really long dramatic shadows from the people. A benefit though of this position is that you don't get people blocking the light as they're entering or exiting the stage as the positions are over the top of people's heads. With the lower side, uh, people entering or exiting the stage or even just blocking, they can end up being right in front of those lights and completely block the fixture, causing a great big dark spot on stage. I personally prefer to use tips over just the high side light as like you would with your front light, you can break the stage down into different areas and you can light each one of those independently from the others. This way, you can control different parts of the stage a lot easier. With high sides, you end up creating large corridors of light across the stage. Uh, so it's really hard to isolate down to smaller zones, which is why I like the tips. Fortunately, when you use tips, you end up needing a lot more fixtures. So it's a bit of a balancing act with your inventory you have available of if you can go one way or the other. There are a few limitations when using side light. The first being the physical space you are in can sometimes dictate what you can and cannot do. If you have a thrust stage, for example, with the audience sitting uh, all the way around, it's really hard to use a side light because you'll end up putting it right in front of someone's seat and then the person on the opposite side of the theater is going to have that light shooting right in their face. You also have to be a little careful around what kind of scenic elements you have on stage as uh, they can block the light and cause shadows. Uh, sometimes this can look really neat. Uh, other times it'll leave a big dark hole right where your actor is and they'll be in the dark. If you have large groups or even small groups on stage or even just people standing side by side, they can block each other's light. So you really have to work with everyone to make sure that no one is blocking the light for anyone else. The last bit is that lights can physically be in the way of people coming and going from the stage. 
because they're on booms right in the wings, everyone entering and exiting the stage will be going right by it. And you'll have to make sure that they go by it and not into it. Also, if you have set pieces that need to come and go off stage, uh, you have to make sure you have enough space for those to sneak by your lighting booms. All right, well, thanks for listening about Sidelight. I'm Brian with Innovation Lighting, and I hope to see you next time. See ya!